In this edition of The Big Story, grief and disbelief in Falmouth Market in Trelawney where vendors remember one of their own who is killed in a motor vehicle crash. Right now, I cannot believe. Oh God. I can't explain. I can't explain. Boy, Muffet. I can't believe Muffet gone left me. Muffet accident was serious like mine. I remember. God, you know everything best. The crash victim, affectionately called Muffet, who is from Linstead in St. Catherine, was said to be kind hearted. Muffet by one bag of onion, one bag of Irish, one bag of cabbage, 10 pounds of peas. And Muffet gave me fracas and he said, Girl, do, me they put you up on foot until the day. Me can give thanks for my faith. Sometimes when I'm not coming, when I'm not coming to fall much, she always call me and say, I'm not coming. I say, I don't have any money. She said, come man. I mean, I come sometimes, she give me money. Sometimes she give me something to sell for myself. My faith tell me, favor me, send my daughter to college. Because me trust in the Lord and when me can't pay him, she not cost me. She not scandal me. But it was like a mother to me. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel right now and stay with us as we go beyond the sound bites and the headlines on this, the big story. This market in the seaside town of Falmouth, Trelawney, has been home away from home for Sharon Hackett, affectionately called Muffet, who is among two women killed in a two-vehicle crash. She had been selling in the market for almost 40 years, starting while she was a teenager and her mother was a vendor. The band that we share together, because from we are young, we are at the market. We are young, we are at the market. We buy goods together, we share together. Even after Moffat's mom retired, she continued to travel the relatively long distance to Falmouth Market from her native community of Redwood, near Linstead in St. Catherine. Moffat and her common-law husband actually were heading to their home in St. Catherine when their motor truck and a car collided Sunday afternoon, October 8, 2023. Some vendors still find it hard to believe that Moffat is no longer around even after seeing the carnage in videos sent to their phones. Right now, I cannot believe. Oh God. I can't explain. I can't explain. Boy, Moffat. I can't believe Moffat gone left me. Moffat accident was serious like mine. I remember. God, you know everything best. Sorry for the death that I get. When I hear say you crash, I even cross bad word and say I lie them at it. But God knows when I see it from my phone, tears from my eyes night, and it's there from day. From Sunday, I don't have a good meal. I, I, when, I, when I heard the news that uh, the, the, the truck crash, and when I call my fat number and somebody answer and tell me that my fat died, I break down in tears. There has been a lot of tears since the crash happened on the Braco Main Road in Trelawney. Two women who were in different vehicles died, Moffat being one of them. The other is a 39-year-old nurse, Avadon Allen, from Steertown in St. Anne. The Jamaica Constabulary Force reported that the motor car, which the nurse was driving, hydroplaned due to the wet surface of the road. It ran into the path of the truck in which Moffat and her common-law husband were traveling. Moffat's partner, who was at the wheels, survived, but with injuries. Moffat's death was a massive blow for her colleagues in Falmouth. A number of vendors told the Beacon that she was much more than a friend to them. She was like a big sister or even a mother. I'm a mother. He is my mother and his husband is my father. And that me I try to tell you. They take care of me. Just like I didn't take care of him, them. Me and Moffat is sister. We live in one room. We share the same bed. We eat together. Lord Jesus, I don't know how. I'm going to cope with it. I miss my sister. Sister, I miss you. You're more than a flowers of my garden. Sharon, you know you always talk about Dunkley. Lord Jesus, may you never vex yet. I love you to my heart, my sister. I dearly love you. I miss you more than anything else, sister. There's nothing in the world I love like you, Sharon. Lord Jesus, Sharon, when I see you're not here with me this morning, I break down. I'm breaking down in tears. I can't hold back my tears, my sister, because, you know, you are the breadwinner for the family. 
I am the breadwinner for my family, my children. Talk about them Auntie Sharon, them Auntie Moffat. Lord Jesus, I don't know what to do, but I'm just holding on. Lord God, give me strength that I can face another day. Nine years from the start selling the market to them, I just, you have to say I'm a mother. I'm she take care of me everything. And I don't left him out, she don't left me out, and he was when I see him thing. So I just, everybody does. So I'm just my mother, she take care of me. She is her best right now. I don't know how I'm going to manage right now. Honestly. From me, from me, I don't know how I'm going to manage. Right now, I'm there market now. I'm going like to there market. I try to get rid of this, some sell out of them. If you go home, but right now, Place dead, place stands. But they are in a day. When the beacon visited the market three days after the crash, a vendor known as Copper Tea had Moffat's business up and running. He explained that, amid the grief, he was trying to sell the ground provisions and other perishable goods that Moffat left behind. He had been selling with her for some nine years, he said. We still lay a still Moffat for take care of business and keep up the same way. We now, we now forget. But every right now, right now, I know we can't talk. We can't talk. We can't manage. But like, we can't manage right now. Right now, I'm there market, I'm not there market. Because I have no vibes. No vibes. Yeah, no vibes. No fit. Right now, I can't sleep. From what you know, we eat. We can't eat. See you, Cadiz. No matter. Love you. See you, Moya. One of the reasons Moffat was respected and loved in Falmouth Market was her kindness, giving people opportunities. Herman Murray is among the beneficiaries of her benevolence. 23 years I'm in the market. Moffat is the one who boss me. When I come Moffat, look for me, Moffat said, when you come to the market, sell your little banana, your little coconut and your bread food, them. where you go home, what kind of money you go home with, go give your picnic them. Moffat buy one bag of onion, one bag of Irish, one bag of cabbage, 10 pounds apiece. And Moffat give me free cars and he said, girl, do, me they put your on foot until the day. Me can give thanks for Moffat. It's a pity Moffat gone, but Moffat always in my heart. Moffat is my friend, my friend like that. Me, me don't know when I go get to over him. I, I, I don't know, I can't tell. Moffat help me, favor me, send my daughter to college. Because I trust him alone, and when I can't pay him, she not cost me. She not scandal me. Moffat was like a mother to me. I tell anybody that. So right now, I tell you, I cry inside outside because I lose a friend, I lose a mother. Moffat was everything to me. Sometimes when I'm not coming, when I'm not coming to fall much, she always call me. I say I'm not coming. I say I don't have any money. She said, "Come, man." I mean, I come. Sometimes she give me money. Sometimes she give me something to sell for myself. Some vendors have stated that Muffet was not only hardworking; she knew how to have fun, whether by throwing up parties or engaging in good-natured banter. Muffet is a type of person like this, you know. Well, she always try to make herself happy, even in her dressing. She does put on some weird things sometimes. She knows what people want to say. And she hard working. And she enjoys herself a lot. Going out type and dress up type. She always keep her like a birthday thing. Fussy type, you know? When her birthday, she gave her a cake and thing. Hard working girl, man. Welcome, Miss Sir. Yeah. She proud of herself, though. Moffat's best friend, we gamble together, we play together. Here we have a problem, Moffat ever come and put it together. And our war monger, the best woman, she kind. Moffat has everything. It years we are Moffat and her husband, John Wayne, you know. We all always sell us, so we don't have a problem, you know. She's a nice lady, you know. The whole market has one fame, man. We don't like it dead, but I just a part of her life still, you know. So I don't know, we have to just go and bear up and hang on. I'm a family lady, Herman, a good friend for years. When in there, you know, up to now, you know, bad for Muffet. You understand? 
Yeah man, we miss him badly, badly man, but boy, I just see father work, you know? Friend in need and a friend indeed. Me and Muffet always out. Any activity we have to go in a Falmouth and me, anywhere at all, and me and Muffet. Every Friday morning, Moby and me and Muffet gone away in front, 3 o'clock. We have this bond. When Muffet the key party at St. Catherine and me, and me lead all crew to Muffet house at St. Catherine. Muffet is such a friend to me. Muffet, never stop love you. Whether I see you or not see you, my family. Respect you all in Redwood. Which part you come from, Mama, in St. Catherine. The last time we be there is a surprise. You are the only person, two limousines. I see you your father's funeral. Two church, I see one man church from my barn. And I hear your father do that, Muffet. Respect and to the max. Now stop respecting and love you. TG said that, otherwise, I've only ill face to, to the world. On the behalf of video editor Dean Alcott, I am Horace Mills reporting from Falmouth in Trelawney for the Jamaica Beacon. Also, check out part one of this story in which we hear from relatives of the late vendor extraordinaire Muffet.